So you want to create a course? Well, I got you there. In this video, I'm going to show you how exactly you can create a professional course using ChatGPT and something like Canva. And for this particular video, what I've done is I have created a list of seven prompts that you have to use, right? So without any further ado, let's get started. So here you go. Here are the prompts that we'll be using. There are seven prompts right here and I'll share the link of this document in the description or the pinned comment right below, right? So the first prompt is pretty much this. I want to create a course on wealth, health relationships. Who could be possibly my target market in this country who would need this? And next part is a little bit, you know, optional, which says I ideally want for this. I ideally want for this target market to have a lot of money. They should be ideally spending on info products already in their day to day life. Plus, they should be capable of paying me at least rupees 50,000. You can put your whatever dollar value or your currency value for any information. We want high ticket clients. That's the main reason. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this part and come here and just, you know, change it. Let's say we want to do relationship, right? And in country, we'll put India, right? And I'll hit enter. Fantastic. So I'll open a document. So you can just simply type in docs.new and it'll come up here. We'll just type in relationship course plan whatever right now here chat gpt will give us uh, some ideas we see high income professionals affluent urban millennials and gen z entrepreneurs luxury lifestyle clients marital counseling we can add like tell me more about this for urban professionals let's do marital counseling for urban professionals right so let's see what do they talk about why them they're willing to pay for insights to maintaining or improving the relationship especially if it is marketed as a premium offering couples already invest in counseling are primed to spend more on premium courses channels relationship therapist network facebook groups blah blah, blah whatever all right fantastic it has already given me some pain points so it is cool i love it now let's go back. Well, by the way, I put like rupees 50,000 rupees, which is close to, I don't know, six, seven hundred dollars. We'll not be selling this course at that price, but I want to target high ticket clients through this. So that's why I have added it. It's pretty optional. If you want to sell it to some college kids, you can just remove this part, right? Second prompt, which is now give me the answer to following questions, which should be relevant to relationship uh, or whatever target market, right? And then we'll copy this. And if you can notice what we asked is, what are the biggest issues that they are facing? How is it impacting their professional life? How is this impacting their relationships? How is it impacting their health? How is it impacting them mentally? What are the seeing, feeling, hearing, saying, doing? Uh, give me nitty gritties, bullet point answers, be as specific as possible. That's exactly who you want, right? So we come up here and we can say relationship for urban professionals. All right, biggest issues, communication gap, work-life balance, unrealistic uh, expectation, all right, tech distraction, family or culture, erosion of intimacy, nice, <laughs> all right, mm, decreased focus, low creativity because there is emotional burnout, this is good, mm, frequent arguments, yes, this is really awesome, frequent uh, argument and reduced affection, this is these are some really cool pain points that we can tap into. So what we can do is um, urban professionals. This is our target market. By the way, in Google Docs, you can find like tabs here. So we'll put like market research and any course pretty much starts with good market research. Without that, it just doesn't make sense, right? urban professionals in India, I would say. And then it's very broad. We don't want to go micro here, but I think this is pretty decent. Why target them? I think this is pretty decent. And we can go for these issues, which were like frequent arguments. Actually, we can just use all of these. Now let's go here. Yeah, underappreciated, feeling overwhelmed. So these are good pain points for, let's say, marketing. And they're doing these. These are like great copywriting points, honestly, right? Now, 
Prompt three is where you actually start building the course, which says, I want to create a course on whatever broad topic. Suggest five narrowed subtopics that would be useful for this. What are the underserved areas in this niche where people struggle to find good information? So what we'll do is we can paste this here. Course on, uh, let's say, relationships for urban married urban couples, right? And we can also put like pain points. Uh, we can talk about frequent arguments, the reduced affection, uh, I would say resentment build up. This is a bigger pain point, honestly. People fighting with each other. And then in this area where people struggle to find good information. Because, well, the way I see this is whatever course you create, uh, it should solve a problem that doesn't already exist. Uh, even if it exists, you should have a different viewpoint around it, right? So that's exactly what we'll be doing. Conflict resolution for busy couples, um, resentment detox, letting go of built up crutches, <laughs> emotional intimacy, repairing relationship. Okay, we can talk about conflict resolution, right? I would say subtopic for course. There you go. So pick one. Whatever you're solving, it should be really, really micro problem for a broader market. That's the whole idea. So right. this is cool. Next, what we can do is they have already mentioned uh, underserved area, practical tools, how to de-escalate arguments, bite size strategies. I think it's pretty decent. So I would write something called as the bigger problem. Uh, I want to help urban couples in India to solve resolve frequent fights for this particular example and ego clashes in marriage, right? Uh, and then help them get to, uh, this is the current state, uh, help them build more affection towards each other and see each other as partners as opposed to the relationships as individuals, right? So this is pretty decent, good big problem. So why did I write this, this current state and desired state? Well, because the next prompt is exactly that. So we want to exactly tell the GPT that this is what we'll be topping, uh, it will be talking about. So that requires a little bit of expertise, obviously. Although I won't say I'm a relationship expert, but I think this is pretty decent. So now we'll copy this prompt and go to chat GPT and zoom in. So I want to create a course on topic. So you can say on resolving frequent fights and ego clashes in marriage. So this will help whatever niche, our niche is urban couples in India to solve a problem. Solve this problem, I can say it's already there. And get to desired status. Uh, and help them build more affection towards each other and see each other partner as opposed to whatever. So you can go here and paste this desired state. Give me five steps that target audience will need to take to go from the current state to desired state. All right, so let's wait for it to create the five steps. I'll tell you why these five steps are so important. All right. Where are they right now? Frequent fights, ego clashes, emotional distance, individual mindset, right? They're viewing the relationship as me versus you rather than us, low affection, desired state, they have con constructive communication and everything. Step one, awareness and acknowledgement. Step two, learning effective communication. Three, cultivate empathy, whatever. Now what we can do, uh, we can use this particular thing. Now these five, you know, steps will become the five modules of your course. So what you can do, you can copy this and add this. You can also add something very much relevant to this particular topic. We can say, uh, give action items and frameworks used by the top, uh, I would say, relationship experts to resolve conflicts. So now it will use some proven frameworks to get there. Now there we go, we got like five modules with lesson topics, lesson outlines, homeworks, 
Right, now we'll come to prompt number six is where we'll actually build your course, right? So it says, expand on lesson number one. Give me the complete course content. Don't spare any details. Here's a good way to create a course content. Mention common mistakes. Mention false beliefs around this topic that lead to the common mistakes. Mention why they are wrong. Explain the better method which leads to the homework later on. Explain why it is better and explain what would happen without this method or framework. Add an anecdotal example story that the target market can relate to. Explain the details of the method, explain the concepts and then give them actionable steps to do the method. Finally, give them homework. Why did I write this? Well, as a coach or a course creator, your job is not just to give them like, hey, just do this, it'll be good. You have to also explain why they should do something. Because if that why is not clear, they would not be open to actually changing things. This is a very common pattern that I've seen among people, right? So what we'll do is we'll just copy this part and come back to chat GPT and you can pretty much paste it, right? We can also add the details of this, identifying conflict patterns, right? And then we will go ahead and uh, paste it somewhere here. Fantastic. Now it will create the entire outline or entire content for lesson number one. Now what we'll do is we'll copy this particular part from lesson one till uh, this will not use the why this approach works. And again, here we'll open up a new tab where we write lesson, I would say module one, lesson one, right? And now we'll paste it. Now this itself becomes the content of your course. Now this doesn't look very professional if you just read it out from a document, right? So this is where we'll be using a separate tool, right? So what we'll do is we'll go to this particular tool, which is gamma.app. And honestly, you don't need Canva uh, if you just want to rely on this one. But Gamma helps you create like an entire PPT without a lot of effort. That's why you use it. Uh, there is a use for Canva after this. But if you're okay with the kind of output that Gamma gives, you can pretty much use that. Canva is just for redecorating stuff. So we'll copy lesson one best and come back to gamma.app. So you can see this is it and it's free. I love this part because it's free, right? All you have to do is click on create new and here we'll basically go to this one, which is paste in text and paste the whole thing, right? And we'll use presentation. It says default, click on that default and go to traditional 16 by nine uh, kind of shape. Click on continue, then we'll configure the whole prompt. Now here, we'll do free form. This is fine. We don't need to create anything. This is all good. We'll go to how many cards you want is what to last. So maximum it allows is 10 cards. So let's just go with 10 cards here. So, oh, by the way, it says uh, markdown format. Huh? This is pretty decent. So if it asks for markdown, then come to chat GPT. Copy from here, not the way I have copied. Just paste it again so that it, you know, uh, pastes in a normal fashion. We'll click on continue. Now it will ask you to select a theme. I like this one. This is really cool. Now we'll click on generate. Now let the AI magic begin. All right. Common pattern, debunking false beliefs, introducing conflict mapping. Oh, wow. It created infographics. This is awesome. All right. Fantastic. Now, obviously, I'm not an expert in relationships. I'll not comment on what's right, what's wrong. I hope when you are creating your course, you know a little bit about this stuff, right? Now our slide decks are ready. Best part about this, like if you feel like this is decent, what you can do is you can simply click on present and you can start recording from right here. You don't need Canva after this because everything is done. It's free. It's awesome, right? But say you want to add some zing. You want to add your own designs to it. Right. In that case, we download this whole thing and we upload it to Canva and then we finally edit it. How do we do that? Uh, we come here, we click on export and we'll do an export to PowerPoint. This is something that I love. Just click here and it will download it as a PPT itself. And now we'll go to Canva. So here we are. What we'll do is we'll click on upload in the Canva thing 
and we'll pretty much search for the file that we just created. Mm, there you go, and just upload it right here. There you go, it has uploaded, fantastic. We'll just click on this one. Now the worst part about Canva is that you'll find this made with gamma thing. So just select that and delete it. <laughs> That's all. Anything that you export from Grama will have this whole thing. So just delete the stuff and you're kind of good to go. And uh, if you want to add some stuff, you have some actionable items, you have a journal that you need to show to people, you can add those here and just start recording. Do now, if you like this video, drop a comment below saying what do you think? And if there is any specific type of video that you want me to create, now, if you want more tutorials like these, I'll be publishing a lot of these in my channel. So I would recommend you subscribe so that you stay updated. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.